You are in the kitchen back on the Mountain Morning Show. I'm joined by my friend Brian Prusy, the chef de cuisine with Park City Mountain Resort. How are you this morning, Brian? Fabulous. Wonderful. Well, I can already smell this cooking up this morning. We are making tomato basil bisque. I am so excited to have you here with us. So thank you for joining us. Glad to be here. Awesome. So what are the first steps that we need to take in creating this wonderfully delicious smelling recipe? Um, well, it's actually really quite simple. Uh, it's mostly just put everything in a pot and, All right. uh, and then spin it up with the... And mix it all together. Magic wand, exactly. There you go. So what's first? Um, so first, uh, we have uh, either canola oil or olive oil, whichever you prefer. It's okay. about uh, oh a third to a half of a cup. Uh, and if you'd like to put in the, we have celery and onion. Okay, all um, of them. I'm using uh, red onion. You can use white onion. All of them. All of it. Oh, hey, that's really hot. We'll wait. <laughs> I'll let you do that. There we go. <laughs> um, so we're just going to put that in there with the with the oil, and we're going to let that simmer, or saute it up until uh, the the onion and the celery are softened. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll take about three to five minutes. Ooh. And uh, as after that's done, we're going to throw in our garlic. Okay. Uh, about two tablespoons of garlic. Very good. Right and there. And that's it right there. Okay. So after, how long does that need to simmer for? Um, these are going to just, we just want to soften them up. Just a little bit. Um, a little bit, about three to five minutes. The onions will turn translucent. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're eventually going to add in our tomatoes and water, and we're going to uh, mix it all up with a, an immersion blender. So How important is it to layer it the way that you are? Is, that, um, you just, is it, or is that just the way you do it? It's the way I do it. But Which you, is probably the right way. You want to you wanna, you wanna, uh, make sure that these are, are cooked. Got it. Um, before you throw everything else in. So May I? Go ahead Next, with the okay. garlic. This is the garlic. Um, that's about two tablespoons of garlic. Okay. And um, I personally like it a little more, mm -hmm. but one of the things that we, we have to do is we have to uh, tone our recipes to the the masses, more or less, <laughs> and my taste is not necessarily Our everyone's taste. Our tastes are not as fine as yours, Chef Brian. Um, <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that. I would just say that my you tastes are like different. like garlic, okay. Um, I love garlic. All right. So uh, after that, uh, the garlic goes in for another two to three minutes, and we're kind of on, on speed cook here. We are. Um, or TV magic going on here. So uh, once that's in, uh, we're going to add in our tomatoes. I'll let you do those since you have the apron on, so, or the, and, you know, uh, now these uh, these could be canned diced tomatoes uh, for those of uh, the audience that have gardens oh. um, and are coming into your fall tomato that harvest. That makes it taste extra You're wondering, what do I do with good. all this? You uh -huh. can chop them up, put them in, make a soup out of them. Head over to your local farmer's market. Uh, or the up. farmer's market mm -hmm. that is today. It is shockingly today. Shockingly enough. Excellent. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, uh, once the tomatoes are in, uh, we add in our water. Uh, about three quarts of water. There you go. And uh, now this is a little smaller pot. Uh, we needed to tone it down for TV. Um, <laughs> you probably want to put that in a little bit larger pot. And what we're going to do is we're just going to simmer all of that uh, with our seasonings. And you can. What, go do we, ahead. what do we got here? We have one tablespoon of dried basil. Okay. And if you have fresh basil in your garden, you can use that as well. And I can, I'm always thinking, I bet having those fresher ingredients always adds the a fresher, little bit it, extra it, goodness It does to that. add just a little bit more. Um, this pepper. is black pepper and salt. How much salt is that? That's about, oh. There we go. There we go. Uh, that's about, oh, I think one and a half tablespoons. And is this brown sugar? That is brown sugar. Brown sugar, is that like a secret ingredient to this? It I would have never thought that. It cuts the acidity of the tomatoes and gives mm -hmm. it a little oh. bit of, it smooths out that, that bite. Does this go bit. in next? That, that can go in. All this can go in okay. right now. There we go. And then we have two types of vinegar. We have, what have we got here? This is balsamic and red wine vinegar. Very good. And those can all go in. And then as this comes up to a boil, um, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add in our rice. Mm -hmm. And the rice is your thickening agent. Oh, so okay. basically what, what you do with it is you just cook it until um. it turns to mush. And then uh, we're going to use an immersion blender to blend it all together and turn it into real soup. All right. Real good soup. I'm excited for this. So we would add this in after it started to boil This a will come bit. up to a simmer. Okay. We'll and, wait for that a little bit. And you so. may, um, as it cooks, the, the rice is going to absorb quite a bit of liquid. And so you may have to add a little bit more water in here or there to, to get it back up to uh, a 
soup consistency. All right, very good. Well, Chef Brian, we're going to be right back after this quick break to finish this off and talk more about Park City Mountain Resort. You guys have some really exciting things coming up this season, particularly your 50th anniversary. Yeah, big yeah, stuff. It is a really important date, so we're going to talk about that and more as well as season passes and take a, a little sample of this soup. Yep. I think we'll bring Joe on for that. That's coming up in just a moment. We are back and you are back on the Mountain Morning Show for our In the Kitchen segment. If you didn't catch it before, we are making tomato basil bisque soup all the way from Park City Mountain Resort across the street from us. Street. All the way across the street. I'm Chef Duke Cuisine, uh, Brian Prusy joining us here this morning. And we've been letting our, our soup simmer a little bit. And with the magic of television, we it's done. An hour's worth of preparation. <laughs> and we've got it here ready for you to taste. So let's take a look at this. So this is kind of what it starts uh, to look like after you've let it cook for a little exactly. while, Exactly. Right? So uh, after you put the rice in and it simmered for about half an hour or so, uh -huh. um, the rice uh, it absorbed the water. It still looks pretty good to me. Could I eat it like that? You could eat it like that. <laughs> it just, um, it just probably isn't as good, right? Um, it, you know, it's everyone's taste, but uh, <laughs> this uh, this is the finished product. And Excellent. so what, what we do with this is we, we either use an immersion blender, okay. which is, you know, a... Uh, we call it. We have a big one that's about so big. We call nice. it the bazooka. Because you got to make big loads. We of this make all at we once, make big batches of this. soup. Exactly. That's right. I want to remind everyone. We can actually. It's on our little awesome fake background photo. Where can the, we find the, the soup um, at? It's right there. It's right there up the hill. Yeah. Uh, this is our signature soup up at Mid Mountain Lodge. Mid -Mountain Lodge. It goes Lodge. wonderful with uh, their grilled cheese sandwich. Ooh, uh, that is perfect good. for that snowy afternoon break after pretty much for any break deep breakfast any break. lunch and dinner <laughs> this is um, what you can do that for it sounds but delicious. Uh, if you don't have an immersion blender mm -hmm. you can uh, take a little bit of this out and throw it into a regular blender and then transfer it back to the pot and we'll finish the seasoning very good cool so, and so finished product finished product right there um it's got this uh beautiful uh has a very fall feel to it it does have a fall it's feel and you know time, now with the, the little rain and works. the chilly mornings it very it kind of feels like soup weather. That's right. It certainly is. Well, should we should we dish it up and, uh, we, and add the rest? Absolutely. Okay. So I'm curious, and this is uh, because I, I am not, I do not have the knowledge that uh, Chef Prusy has, but what makes something bisque, or what does that include? Well, include? Um, a bisque is a, a soup thickened with rice. Mm -hmm. um, it can also be thickened with, uh, like traditional French had uh, used, uh, shells from seafood stock. Okay. Um, so, but it, it can be any number of uh, different things, but currently but that's one of them. Uh, this is one way to call it a bisque, right. something with, uh, with rice as the thickening agent. Very good. Well, my other, we mentioned this before, and I guess uh, while we're uh, dishing this up, let's talk about uh, the 50th anniversary. When, when is actually the, fi the the birthday of Park City Mountain Resort? Uh, it is December 21st. So exciting. Um, I love it. Park City Mountain Resort opened as Treasure Mountain. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was, I was actually alive, but not skiing <laughs> at the time. Oh. That dates me just a wee bit. Um, and but what's so special about this for you guys? You guys have a lot of fun stuff planned throughout the year. There, there is quite a bit going on. Um, I think one of the biggest events that we have uh, scheduled at least in terms of operations is the Grand Prix yes. is coming back again this year. Happens in January. Uh, January, uh, right around film festival time, mm -hmm. conveniently enough. Um, but this is the final qualifying event for Sochi and uh, it can be held up on the super pipe uh, part of it and then they're also doing some up on King's Crown. And what's so neat about this, you mentioned before, they're actually announcing the, the freestyle team for at the, Sochi at the end of the event. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Ah, that's so exciting. A thrilling event, of course, uh, to be a part of. Let's talk briefly about uh, your season passes. You guys actually have one of the best season passes you can purchase along the Wasatch Front. Why um, is that? It, we've, we've instituted this year uh, a new feature to the pass. Uh, anyone who purchases a season pass with uh, one upgrade. Um, that could be night skiing, that could be mm -hmm. underground parking, it could be fast track, something of that nature. Uh, you can, uh, you get uh, passes, day passes for yourself at Alta, uh, Deer, Valley. Deer Valley, and I believe Snowbird. Yes, yes I believe you're right. right. I'm looking, yes, we are right. Deer Valley, Alta, and Snowbird, which is kind of a big deal. It That's was so a big fun. deal. And, you know, when you think about it, if you were to just walk up to, you know, their window and pay for it, that's 
a hundred bucks. At, no at, kidding. At, yeah. At most going rates today. So uh, you factor that in. That's. $900 I love, value. I right love there. seeing a, a partnership of sorts like this going on because it really gives those who, you know, may just get that one season pass for that one resort, gives them the opportunity to check out all the surrounding resorts. I mean, it's hard enough to choose one resort to get your pass to if that's what you do, if it's the one yeah. season pass a year. This really gives you an excellent opportunity to check out all the all the great slopes and, and trails that yeah, surrounding and, and resorts And it's have. a good reward for the locals that mm -hmm. uh, have supported us for years and years and years. So. Exactly. Very good. So, awesome. Anyway. What do you what do you say we dish it up? I'm getting hungry. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Um, it, some somehow eight and eight in the morning doesn't seem like soup time. Well, you know, I, Joe and I are kind of used to this. <laughs> We've had everything from hamburgers and steak to fish <laughs> at eight a.m. It, uh, it, it doesn't even phase us. And speaking of Joe, so, let's bring Joe on since tomatoes. So uh, Chef Percy, tomatoes uh, is one of Joe's um, favorite things. We we like to um, have some special garnishes up there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some maybe not quite as special as others, but uh, you know, any of these would be lovely uh, to go with your soup. You uh, croutons, Ooh, we shape can put arm. as many as we want on you there. You can put okay. mix, mix, match. Pumpkin seeds. What do you say, Joe? Seeds. Such a fall I like that. Treat. That's that How says fall to me. <clears throat> Pumpkin seeds. Very good. Well, I'm this doing is a excellent. little of everything. How about that? Very good. So I would like you to mention, if you would, for us, what are the uh, for the Mid Mountain Lodge? What are the hours that you've got going on right right now in terms of when you can pick this up? Um, Mid Mountain Lodge generally opens is rather, is, yeah. is the last uh, the last of our restaurants to open, mm -hmm. and it uh, we we generally try to have them up and running by uh, early December. Uh, it's snow conditions permitting. Well, so how do we get this soup? If it's a special to Mid Mountain Lodge. Well, we, we do sell it down in Legacy. <laughs> yes, that's right. Um, so Legacy Lodge will be uh, the first to open. Uh, opening day uh -huh. is November 23rd, just right around the corner. It hardly seems like it should be ski know, season. Isn't that but, crazy? Um, but it certainly is ski season. Wow. How was it, Joe? Incredible. <clears throat> he's just being quiet because he's such a big fan of tomatoes. He's like, I'm having at it. Did you say something? <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is delicious, Chef Brian. Thank you so much for bringing this on. And I would You're like welcome. to ask you briefly, um, so say if folks haven't been to Mid Mountain Lodge, I know it opens in a little while, but uh, even um, with Legacy Bar and Grill, if they have not been there before, visiting town, what would you recommend for them to have for dinner? Um, well, right now the, uh, 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 the only restaurant we have open uh, full-time is Legends, and that's down right. uh, Our, in, in, Legends. Base. In, in Legacy Lodge. It's yep. right at the resort mm -hmm. base. Uh, Christie's Coffee Shop is open daily, and uh, we still have Crescent Burger open out on the plaza with all the rides and everything. Nice. Um, Legends uh, opens for lunch at 11, and uh, we serve up until 8 on weekends, and uh, we'll cut back our hours a little bit uh, here after Labor Day. All right. But um, yeah, it's it's been a busy summer and winter's right here. And it's going to get even busier. <laughs> it's going to get even busier. <laughs> which, which is good news, of course. We're excited to uh, bring in the ski season. And thank you so much. Anything else to add this morning? I think we pretty much covered it. Where can we find you online? Um, Park City Mountain Resort. You, shot, you got me. Parkcitymountain.com. The marketing We've guys will kill me now. <laughs> We've got it up there on screen, so okay. you're good. Thank and you. uh, I, I believe you have the recipe of. Uh, yeah if anybody wants to get exactly. it. Exactly, we're gonna post that a little I'm bit later I'm surprised you're giving it away. Show. I know, that's what, when he called me, I was like, are you really gonna give this away? Well, the, the beautiful thing about recipes is uh, as soon as you change one ingredient, it becomes your recipe. Mm, I so like it. If that's you right. don't like something in there, take it out, and then it's, hey, I invented this. I like it, very cool. Well, thank you so much for you're your welcome. time. We certainly appreciate it. Be sure to go online to Park City Mountain, and then you can check out, of course, all the season pass information as well as what's going on. At Legends Bar and Grill. And go to our website, parkcity.tv, to get the recipe. That's right. That's where we're going. <laughs> we'll be right back after this quick break to end out the hour. I think we have enough time for maybe a little, a little bit more of Hurricane. I think so. Hope.